Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with Jim Engel from Moss Gold. How are you today, Jim? I'm fine, Tracy. Great, great talking to you. Jim, I have known you for many years. You've built other very successful companies in the exploration industry and resource industry over the years. Now you have a junior, Moss Gold, and you just acquired a property. How about we start there? Yeah, Moss Gold uh, goes back to 2010, though, and Ron Nitalitsky started it, and his objective was to get control of the Lange Greenstone Belt area in Saskatchewan, because he perceived that as one of the very prolific potential gold producing areas uh, of North America, quite frankly. And it, it used to have uh, seven producing mines on, on that area uh, pre-2020, or sorry, pre-2000. But uh, because of gold prices, uh, six of those mines shut down. And the only one operating today is operating by SSR, which is the CB Santoy, the old Claude Resources uh, mine that I actually happened to be the director of finance for when we poured the first brick out there. And uh, it's still producing today a million and a half ounces later and still producing at the rate of 100,000 ounces. But Ron's vision was to control that Greenstone Belt area and we have been successful over the last uh, number of this year and last year in uh, starting to accomplish some key acquisitions out there. The most recent, which you just asked about, was the Comstock property. Uh, and that is a, a, an excellent uh, a property that is uh, fits right in with our hub and spoke model with our North Lake uh, project, as well as our recent other recent acquisition, the former producing contact lake mine that used to be operated by chemical uh, resources and uh, back in uh, 1992 to 95. And so we now have accumulated a million over a million ounces in, in historical resources. And uh, our target this year is to reach one and a half million. And we know that at present has historical resources of over three million ounces. And so We've got a couple more acquisitions that we would like to do, um, uh, but we're well on our way to uh, adding ounces to our portfolio at a very low cost. So if I understand you properly, this can be a near-term producer. Is that correct? It's got potential uh, to be a near-term producer with, uh, with an acquisition or two, yes. So Jim, now I'm gonna put you on the spot. Um, you know, with the successful career that you've had, why do this again? Why, <laughs> why do this? I mean, you have prominent roles in the community, uh, board positions being offered to you daily. Why do this now? Um, I'm certain that investors out there are going to go, okay, we have a very successful entrepreneur, CEO. Uh, why are you doing this? I had an opportunity to join the Ron Nedelitsky team. Uh, and I've always admired Ron, uh, who is a mining hall of famer and responsible for the SK Creek discoveries uh, and uh, SNP and, and uh, several more. And uh, just to have one more rodeo with a guy like Ron was well worth it. Plus my experience in the area and, and former history with some of those properties that are there, Ron felt we were a good fit. And I, and I uh, just wanted to, uh, have one more rodeo with a, with a guy like him. Well, Jim, thank you so much for your time. As always, it's a pleasure. And we're looking forward to ongoing results from your drilling. Thank you. Thank you, Tracy.